I'm a man who likes conspiracy theories, all right? I don't I don't think everything is black and white in the world. I think there's lots of gray. And the more we embrace the gray, the more we can make sense of things. And when it comes to conspiracies, I, I do think there are a lot of things that are true. You do your research, you look at it online. Yeah, you're kind of getting a one-sided viewpoint, but still, you believe in it. The Mothman with the Mothman prophecies, you know, out there mothmanning it up what he does warning people hey this bridge is about to go down you probably shouldn't go on it or maybe he caused the bridge to go down we don't know because he's the freaking mothman and you can't interview the mothman you can't hit his publicist up and be like hey we want to talk to the mothman no he just exists all right the chukacabra bigfoot yeti but of course I'm not a cryptozoology channel. I'm I'm more of a video game channel. So when I see a good conspiracy theory, when I see something that doesn't make sense, but there's at least somewhat tangible proof of it existing, I like to explore it. And that's what we're doing today because this involves Nintendo. What are, What is Nintendo planning? Because it looks like they're planning something very strange, all right? It looks like they're planning something very weird. Now, this is a write-up done over on Nintendo Life's website because I just found it very easily digestible. I'll have a link to it in the description box down below if you guys want to read it instead of listening to me ramble because, I mean, that's acceptable. You know, I'm, I'm not the easiest on the eyes or anything like that. But I do understand if you would rather listen to me talk about it. And then we can theorize together in the comments section down below. So let's just jump into this. Because Nintendo stockpiling things. Stockpiling raw materials. Raw materials for a video game company. And this isn't just, you know, a little bit of a bump. This isn't just a little bit of a jump. No, it is a large jump of stockpiling things. Almost like, you know, one of those doomsday prepper people. Is Nintendo, you know, getting ready for the doomsday that is coming of video games that we don't even know about as the general public? I mean, maybe. All right, so this information is coming to us from the last physical year report that, of course, ended on March 31st of 2022, and it involves numbers. And numbers don't lie, but sometimes numbers can be misconstrued. Notes to non-consolidated balance sheet, breakdown of inventories. When it comes to finished goods, Nintendo reported 2,778 million yen spent. Work in progress, 69 million yen spent. <laughs> and raw materials and supplies, 66,517 million yen. Now... The, upon surface level, it's like, well, what the hell does any of this mean? And I don't know. I don't know. Are these numbers high? Are these numbers low? You have to have something to balance it out. You have to have something to sort of bounce off of for it to make sense. And here's here's where the bounce off comes in. And <laughs> Let's take a look at the previous years, if you didn't spoil it already, <laughs> by looking at it when I had it up earlier. Finished goods, 1,680 million yen. Work in progress, 3,718 million yen. It's quite, quite a large increase there over work in progress. Raw materials and supplies, 9,533 million yen. What the hell is this? What is this? What is this massive jump here? From 9,533 million yen to 66,517 million yen. What, what? 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 Let's take a look at a little breakdown here. This is a, a, a compiled list from someone on a, a message forum. Like I said, just go to Nintendo Life's website if you want to read about it. Here's some of the interesting materials here. So, speaking of materials, raw materials and supplies. Basically, if you... Uh, add up the last four years it's almost as much as what this year is here looking at the work in progress stuff you know it's highs and lows obviously last year was a very high work in progress because you had the nintendo switch oled finished goods things like that but this is a huge stark contrast here you know they're they're stockpiling tons of materials just materials now there are a few things that you can lean into with this, and there's a few things that do sort of make sense. One thing, of course, has to be inflation. All right, inflation, you know, is hitting all of us. Everything costs more money for really no apparent reason. Maybe some tariffs, taxes, you know, lack of transportation stuff. But when one thing costs more money, everything costs more money. It's a it's a ripple effect. There's a trickle down effect. Hopefully, this will alleviate it sometime. But to say that this is just based on, you know, things rising, the cost the cost of everything rising, I think is very short-sighted. I mean, this is a huge jump. This is a, a, a massive jump of raw materials that you can't just assimilate with inflation. So then, well, what else could there be? You know, did they know that there was an inflation coming potentially? Obviously, companies do have their ear a bit to the streets, so maybe they wanted to stockpile a lot of things. Or, and here we go. Here we go. This is where things, 
just start to go off the rails. And I'm not saying that this is the reason. I'm not saying this isn't the reason. I'm just saying this is a plausible thought that people should have when they're looking at this data. Because the data can only tell you so much. You have to do something with that data. What could Nintendo, a video game company, possibly be doing with raw materials? Could they be thinking about something like new hardware look look all right i get it i get it but at some point in time there has to be new hardware there has to be you can't you can't ride the this all right this thing isn't gonna last for a thousand years all right at some point in time you have to revise it and this is the oled model you got to revise this thing you got to make a new one all right got to make it more powerful obviously we were already seeing the constraints of the baseline Nintendo Switch system as we have it when it comes to things like third party ports, even first party games. Like at some point in time, you gotta make a beefier system. It's, you know, just an inevitability. And for some reason, whatever reason may be, and maybe I can understand why, a lot of Nintendo Switch owners don't like to think about that. They don't like to think about that inevitability. They don't like to think about the fact that there could be a new system on the horizon because I guess they've been burned a lot. And I completely understand that. You know, you've had revisions of the Switch with the Switch Lite. You had the Switch OLED, which everyone thought, including myself, was going to be the beefier Switch, you know, sort of that middle ground and that came and went and we never got that. So people, you know, they feel burned by it. But at the end of the day, Nintendo is a video game company. Of course, they're gonna make another freaking system. Now, why would they be stockpiling materials now if this system isn't coming out this year or next year? I mean, you, you could throw out a bunch of different reasonings that, that make sense. When you look at something like the PlayStation 5, it's been very hard to get your hands on a PlayStation 5, ridiculously hard. You can't go into a store and buy them. You got to do these drops on Sony websites and different retailers will do drops and stuff like that. It's been very hard. So my mindset with this is Nintendo is trying to alleviate that process by having a very high supply at launch whenever the launch of the system may be whatever it is you know maybe it's not even a system maybe it's a a whole new concept or something like that but they want to have an ample supply of whatever it is readily available because the chip shortage isn't really necessarily getting any better this year i, I don't think you're going to start to see that get really alleviated until next year and then hopefully you know by then the economy has at least dipped a little bit and you know things like inflation have gone down where people can you know actually survive on their paycheck instead of having to wonder you know well, what the hell am i going to do for gas and food since everything is so ridiculously high that's a topic for another day though but i do feel like nintendo is stockpiling this stuff with a reason in mind you're not just going to stockpile stuff especially if you're not going to use it if it doesn't have something to do with your company, it doesn't have something to do with your core values, if it doesn't have something to do with really hardware, because you don't need to stockpile anything else as far as raw materials are concerned, unless it's sort of hardware based. So then what does that really say? You know, when you when you take this, when you take all this information here, and I'm pointing over here because this is where my second monitor is, and this is where I'm reading the information. When you take all of this and then you think about what Nintendo has been doing lately or what they haven't been doing lately what they haven't been talking about It's like well, maybe something is coming sooner rather than later We did not get a first party Nintendo direct this, you know this June. We got a third party one Well, Why is that you know what what is the reasoning behind it? There's actually uh, some translated stuff from this investors meeting that nobody really talked about from president for that sort of asked about this increased spending when it came to whatever Nintendo is doing and you know what sort of the reasoning is behind it and he gave us a little glimpse you know standard PR talk but there is a little bit of a glimpse here and this is coming to us from good old president for car here uh, it is necessary to prepare for production by securing the inventory of raw materials and parts as soon as possible the first reason is that we keep more raw material inventories than before the second reason is the change in accounting due to the application of the new revenue recognition standard and its impact so obviously a very PR answer, you know, oh, we're keeping we're keeping more materials now than we did before. Why? Why doomsday prepper Nintendo? Do you know something? Are you working on something? Why all of a sudden would you keep more materials when, you know, you haven't done this before? And then you have the whole point of, you know, oh, you know, it's a change due to accounting and stuff like that. Look, this is BS PR talk. All right, this is like the people who say, oh, Mothman isn't real. Do you know that? Do you know that? Because I don't know that. All right, I don't know that the Mothman isn't real. I don't know that the Chukacabra isn't real. I don't know that Bigfoot isn't real. How are you going to tell me that it's not real when there's evidence that sort of points that, hey, maybe it could be real. 
Maybe there's something more to this, okay? Maybe it's not just stockpiling raw materials, like, like wood and chips, piling like bricks and stuff. You're gonna start building a building out of bricks, Nintendo. There's something more going on here, buddy. We're gonna find out what it is. All right, these little, these little piss posh, piss ass answers, they don't cut it for me. And right? they don't cut it for my viewers. They don't cut it for RGT fans. Because we know more. All right, we know better than to listen to you and your BS political suit and tie answer. Because the answer lies within. The answer is deeper than just the surface level. It's not black and white. You're not doing this in a black and white manner. There's that gray area. We have sunk into that gray area, folks. We've sunk into it. Look to the skies. Look to the news. Something's going down. I just don't know really what it is or when it'll happen. But, you know, hey, it's fun to think about things like this because something is obviously brewing. I mean, let's be realistic here. Nintendo's been very strange this year. And the last time they had a really strange year, we did get a Switch OLED. So who knows? Who knows? I don't know, but do you know? That's the thing. That's that's what we have to take into account here. Let me know what you think of all of this in the comments section down below. Are you looking to the skies? Do you think that this is just you know business as usual, or do you think that there's something more going on here? Because I do. I do. And as always, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. All that fun stuff. It's very hot outside. It's already hot in my basement. I don't like it. I'm not happy. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.